put uh, one year, I must say, there have been disruptions, but uh, industry has uh, realized that if you want to stay in the business of real estate, you have to be organized, you have to be answerable. There are uh, systems in place, people are getting them in place. So I know that our members at Kadai definitely are upgrading the way they do business. And if they have to survive under the rare regime, then of course this change is necessary. And uh, end of the day, it's going to be beneficial not only for the customer, but also for, for us as an industry, definitely. There are anomalies, small anomalies, there are pain points for industry because you see, one must realize that the RERA uh, should also not only regulate, but it should, it should also promote real estate. It should be a very well balanced attitude and approach from uh, the uh, people who are sitting at the head of RERA. And also, uh, from the customer's perspective, if this uh, is not, uh, uh, if, uh, if the real estate industry is not grown substantially, then you will see a shortfall in supply and that shortfall will eventually result in an increase in prices. So it's in nobody's interest that uh, uh, real estate is not promoted properly. There, there has to be supply in the market which will rationalize prices. See, any new uh, legislation needs a grandfathering period. The people who are implementing it themselves are going to take time to learn how it is to be implemented. You cannot say, like for example, GST, you just can't say the click of a finger that from tomorrow you have to be compliant. It doesn't work that way. So there has to be a learning period. There has to be a grandfather uh, fathering period. And we all have to be patient to understand that this will work at the end of the day because the intention behind the act and the legislation is good. So let's all be patient and wait. And we'll, I think we'll see uh, a lot of progress over there. So there's an improvement in confidence, but it's not because of Vera. You see now... Uh, post era it has become very obvious who are the players who are here to stay and who are the players who will definitely not continue in this business. So for the customer it has become a little easier to decide on who he wants to put his money with, who he wants to bet on because now these people who are still in business are the ones who are going to be compliant, who will uh, accept and adopt RERA in the right spirit and they will deliver homes in the right spirit. So now the customer has become very focused, okay I have to buy a house then this is the list of 10, 12 people who I can actually go and confidently uh, book an apartment with. So it's it's good for the customer. There is a return of confidence. There's a return uh, of activity in the real estate market and uh, which is very good news for everybody.